finally a cold day in Amarillo. Before we get into today's video, DJ, please, for the love of God, get that intro. Supercharged, 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 supercharged. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let the V8 ridiculous pricing begin. Now, I have a good buddy of mine. He goes by the name of, well, I won't say his name because he doesn't like his name out there. I won't say his name, but um, I had a conversation with him like a week ago um, about him not purchasing a Trackhawk. And I told him, I was like, dude, you should have kept yours. You could have sold it for a lot more money. Um, and this was, he sold his like a year ago. Anyways, texted me the other day a picture of a Trackhawk that he found at Sticker at a dealership and it was one of the last ones ever made, which is cool. So in case you guys don't know, Trackhawks are not going to be made anymore. There will be no more V8 supercharged Trackhawks ever, ever, ever. If you have one, I would highly suggest keeping it. Um, they're gonna come out with a, tr a different Trackhawk with a new trim, of course, but it's not gonna, it'll be a, they already said it's gonna be a V6 or an inline six variant of some sort with a turbo or some shit. So. If you want a V8 supercharged one, there might be, there's like a couple that are still um, new. So he got lucky, he bought his for sticker. Now, he was telling me that he found some new and even slightly used, but those were going for 140 to $150,000. Mind you, the Trackhawks MSRP I think mine was 90 something and I ended up paying like 89. It was like five or six K under sticker. Um, anyways, cause I have a 2021 Stingray Trackhawk that's wrapped bags, got 22s. Anyways, so uh, it's my second one. Love it. One of my favorite cars I've ever owned. Probably if I had to pick one car, that would be the one to get. Uh, it's all-wheel drive, it's fast, it's fun, it's comfortable, it get, gets looks. Anyway, anyways, I didn't really, I was like, man, they're really selling Trackhawks for 140 grand. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to post it here. That is a Trackhawk that was just posted today in the Trackhawk Facebook group for sale, $140,000 firm, firm. I'm telling you, I told, I told, I told you guys, I told you guys, I need a crystal fucking ball. I told you guys, Trackhawks, they are gonna be expensive. Uh, I, I think, in my opinion, Trackhawks will be more, worth more money than a TRX in the future. Why? Because they've made as many TRXs in the first two years, or first year, as they have, I think, in all of the Trackhawks. Uh, which I didn't know. They only made 550 in 2021. Like, something ridiculous. And then it was even less than that in 2020. Like, they, they've only sold, they've only made, like, a few thousand of these things since 2018. Which I had no clue. I had no clue. I thought more people bought them. I think more people would have bought them, but it's kind of a weird segment to be in. It's like a mm, crossover, it's supercharged. If you have four kids, if you have like three kids, you, what's the point of getting it? You get a Durango instead. So a lot of people who buy Dodges get a Durango, which Durango sells out insanely. But I told you guys, like, I don't know if people, people argue with me in the comments, like, nah, dude. There was one guy who commented like 40,000 words on a comment saying, no, Prices are gonna go down because people with EVs aren't gonna give a shit about motors. I'm telling you right now, they give a shit. And those prices are gonna keep going up. You know how I know this? You know how I know? You know how I know? Because Porsche, people for example, Porsche is still making a fucking manual transmission in 2022. A manual fucking transmission. Why? Because people want that shit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, these cars, any anything, Porsche, Ferraris, you, 
the, all those cars, the V12s, V10s, Porsches, Porsches, V6s and shit, I'm telling you, or flat six, dude, the cars are going to be outrageous. I've got a couple buddies who are buying up anything that has a V10, a V12, or a V8. They're just buying them up. Regardless if they like the vehicle or not, they're buying them up because they know in about a year, they're gonna be able to sell it for crazy money. You wait yourself five years, crazy money. I bet you in five years, Dodge Demons, whether it has miles or not, like I guarantee, I guarantee if mine would have never got wrecked, give it like a year or two, I could have sold it for like 200 grand. Give it five years, those cars will be worth, like the ones that haven't been driven, those cars will be worth half a million dollars, easy. I'm telling you, once they start phasing these things out next year, the prices are already going up. Prices are gonna be out of control, out of control. So if you want a V8 supercharged, you better get your fucking ass to the dealership and find one, I'm telling you. Anybody who's sitting there like, should I upgrade to Hellcat? Yes, yes you should, because you better do it now before those prices go up even more. Like, I have seen used, used, Used scat packs going for the price of what a new Hellcat used to be. What? <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? It's insane. It is wild. It's getting, it's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So this is my advice to you. Go get yourself a V8 or V10 or V12, something like that. I'm telling you, that's what you need to get. Anyways, my name is Kevin Van Voris. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Have an awesome day. I'm out this bitch.